the unit they're lined up against? Um, that factors in a lot, and sometimes that's depending on the position. It's, it's a challenging position. It can be challenging for the running back, the quarterback, um, and so we try to, as best we can, get them with other personnel that are on the field. But yeah, that, that's uh, that's part of it. Somebody said on the CBS broadcast that you compared Taysom to, or said he may be the next Steve Young. Obviously, that's a little grandiose, but well, if you look back at Steve's career, and people don't remember his time before he came into the NFL, you, you had a, a very athletic player that uh, that I think advanced when he got to San Francisco, and he he always had great ability with his legs. Um, so you're, you're trying to create visions for player, no different than uh, how you'd evaluate, you know, how you see Teddy progress and what he can be, and then, and and I think that uh, that's that's the business we're in. And, but obviously, saying something like that speaks to you still have a vision for him as a quarterback. Absolutely, that hadn't changed. Sort of changed yeah. That hadn't changed. Um, right now, we just feel like as we continue to work on. Those skill sets. There's other things that that he's able to do to help the team, and and uh, he's done those pretty well. And how, how much? I mean, I mean, I know you only get to see so many preseason games, but with everything you've added up, how much has he developed as a passer and a reads and progression? I, I think both. I said this yesterday and, and a week ago. I think we've seen a significant growth with both he and Teddy. You know, this is. Teddy's full second year and tasting the same. I mean, you know, we're, we're seeing things take place on a day-to-day -day basis that, that maybe weren't happening a year ago. You have uh, Gardner Johnson playing in the slot. Is that like the, the kind of Buffalo thing that you all did the last couple of years with three safeties? Is that as a, like a nickel corner? Or is that kind of like a hybrid? How do, how do you kind of see that? Well, we would we would consider Buffalo because his, his natural position would be um, a safety. So I don't know that you could take any strong safety and play him in that position, but one of the things that we felt he did very well in college was play in that slot position. So he got more reps at it in Buffalo yesterday than the first week. Um, first week he played more safety snaps. So a lot of it depends on the game plan and, and who we're playing, but yeah, it's one of the things that we feel like he can do well. Does that require him to, to learn more than a yeah. guy in his position? Well, you're, you're, you're learning some nickel responsibilities when it comes to your man-to-man -man and or your zone looks. Um, but he's someone I think picks things up pretty quick and still working and uh, he still has a, a ton of room for growth. But we think that was from the very beginning a vision we had for him. Was that Steve Young vision you had for Taysom, was that something you had right away when he got here? Did it kind of No, I think that was something that, you know, as you began to watch his skill set, um, you're just trying to think of players that that were similar at an early stage in their career. Sean, is anything, Emmanuel Butler, he's been out a little bit and all, but is there something he has done that kind of shows promise that? Yeah, yeah, look, we've seen some, you guys have all seen it, and, and now it's just seen it on a more consistent basis. Um, you know, I think this these next two weeks will be important for him. You know, he came back after missing a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, he's high pointed the ball well. I, I've seen strong hands in traffic, and uh, you know a lot of things you want to see from a young player. How's his blocking? I think decent. You know, it's uh, I would say somewhat raw still in, in learning the force patterns and who to block. But um, but that's something we feel like we can correct. He's certainly willing. What did you like about Austin Carr when he first got here? And what well, he's he's a savvy player. He's smart. He understands um, route principles versus man and zone. Uh, I think uh, he transitions real well in and out of his cuts. And so I think the, the production in the, uh, in the football IQ, all of those things factored in. At this stage of the preseason, you're going into the third game, I think. What are you looking for from some, from some of these guys that are maybe on the bubble? And I, I think overall, you know, our first half yesterday, I thought we started well defensively. I, I thought we were sloppy offensively. I thought our tempo lacked. Um, I think overall, uh, all the details that go into playing well, I think we've got to improve on. And I think this is a good week for us really to focus 
on the little things specifically to what we've seen in the game? And I know we have an installation and a plan for this week, and yet um, we have to be able to midstream adjust a little bit and pay attention to what we're seeing. So I think the, the details and what it takes to execute offensively, um, there were a lot of things for us to coach off of in the kicking game video this morning and the same way defensively. How do you view that uh, the competition going between some of those young guys at wide receiver? It looks like you've got a lot of guys kind of competing for maybe a you know, Yeah, time. look, uh, and that process is still going. Yeah. You know, it's still ongoing. Uh, Chumpa was a guy that was around a little bit last year. Mm -hmm. Is there any specific area you've seen him progress? Well, I, I think, look, his strength is playing in the special teams. And, and so that's where he'd be competing uh, to make the team. And there's a few other guys that are competing for similar spots. And, you know, we talk about it every year. You're not just competing with the, with the guys that are in your room. You're competing with the other 31 rooms at the same position, possibly other positions. So really focusing uh, maybe more on the things you can control as a player and less on what you think the, the cut line might be is, is important.